Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video. In today's video, I want to share with you quick and easy crock pot meal for busy moms. What you see over here is chicken veggie chowder. And this video is in collaboration with two wonderful ladies here on YouTube. One of them is Felicia. She is a mom of a toddler and she's currently pregnant and she's expecting a baby in May. On her channel, you can find a lot of videos about healthy lifestyle and she shares her grocery hauls as well as some recipes. I'm sure if you go over to her channel, you will find some videos that you will enjoy. Another lady in this collaboration is Paige from Farm Family. On her channel, you can find cleaning videos, cooking, DIYs, and she also um, shares her journey while trying to conceive. Please go ahead and check out both of their channels and check out what kind of quick meals they have prepared for you and say hi to um, them in their comments and show them some love. Let's start with the recipe. First, you're gonna need one pound of boneless uh, chicken breasts cut in one inch squares then uh, 10 ounces of frozen broccoli, then you're gonna need one cup of sliced carrots, then half a cup of chopped onion, half a cup of whole kernel corn, then you're gonna need two cloves of garlic minced, Then one can or 14 and a half ounces uh, chicken broth, reduced sodium. And at the end you add one can of cream of potato soup or cream of chicken, whichever you like. I had on hand cream of chicken and that's what I used. Now mix it all together and then turn on your crock pot uh, three hours on high or five hours on low. I usually like to use these slow cooker liners because they make the cleanup so much easier. There's no mess at all and these are from Aldi. Once in a while you can check on your soup, mix it a little bit and then let it cook. But this is totally optional. You can just uh, put the lid on and forget about it. You can find the full recipe in the description box down below. Around 30 minutes before uh, the end of the time, cooking time, you can check on your veggies and your chicken if it's cooked. Then you add half a cup of half and half, or in this case, I had whole milk. You can uh, use either one. And then let it cook for another 30 minutes. And then after that, optional again, you can add half a cup of shredded cheese of your choice. After adding your cheese, let it cook for extra 15 minutes and then your soup is done. This soup was very delicious. You can serve it with um, crackers or just eat it the way it is without um, anything else. That's how I ate it and it was very, very delicious. We're gonna make it again for sure. I really hope you try it and I really hope you like it if you try it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will mean a lot to me and it will tell me that you like this type of content and I can make it more. 
Also, don't forget to check out um, other two ladies' channels and um, leave them some comments. I'm going to link their channels in the description box down below and also in the cards in the beginning of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!